Hello. Welcome to the second mail time. Uh, judging from your comments, it sounds like uh, this is a, a segment that we're going to keep. Um, I appreciate you watching the first one. I appreciate everyone participating. Love the feedback. Love the suggestions. Keep it coming on this episode. Today, we have a package in from New Boston, Illinois, not too far from us. Um, this is this is a pretty crazy one. This has been kind of a white whale for for us at Drunk Nostalgia. And I'm really stoked about it. I'm really stoked about this one. It's just like one of those things that I think everyone, if you were a 90s kid or or grew up in the early 2000s, you remember this thing. It is it is iconic of the time and and uh of just you know what was going on in our culture at that time so it's i it, it popped up on ebay and i thought i would ne i would thought i'd never see it on ebay i've i've searched for this thing so many times and i just i looked for it just kind of on a whim i was browsing you know like a top 10 lists and, and stuff like that just looking for ideas to do for drunk nostalgia and, and it's it's on like every one of those for, for, for 90s and early 2000s nostalgia. And I saw it again, I was like, fine, I'll go check eBay one last time just to see, just to see maybe if, if someone stumbled across one and decided to pop it up there. And it happened. It happened, like, uh, like I said, like a week and a half ago. And I bid on it, and I won. In fact, it wasn't even a bidding war on it. I put in the first bid, at the lowest asking price, and I won it. No one else contested me. I, I put the bid in six days. I was, I was for sure. I put the bid pretty high, but I never even had to go that high because no one else contested me. Like I said, so I thought for sure there was going to be a bidding war going on for this, and uh, maybe it's a testament to, to what it is. Like no one actually really wants it that that it didn't get bid against, or maybe no one was even looking for it. I think, I think really no one was looking for it because I had given up hope of ever getting my hands on, on the, uh, this, this item. So I suppose let's, let's get into it and uh, make sure everything's okay and make sure that uh, it survived its trek from New Boston. It only took like two days to get here, so that's, that was pretty cool. Um, and I think we're going to be reviewing it this this weekend. I don't know when the the actual episode will be coming out, but uh, so I'm pretty excited, as you can probably tell. So uh, we're going to cut, and then uh, we'll get to to uh, opening this up. It can just well just right here, I guess. Huh? Gotta be smarter than the box. Need to get like a uh, drunk nostalgia brand pocket knife or something to open this stuff up here. Interesting packaging, I would I will say. I wasn't expecting it in a box like this, so you may be a little misled. Um, what is this? It's a Moog steering and suspension box. So we got lots and lots of peanuts here. Ah uh, yes, I see the first one. Kind of want to hide the first one from you guys, uh, so I can get the second one here. Okay, do you know what it is? 
Can you take a wild guess at what these two things might be? You can pretty much see through there. But I'm going to actually get it open here in case someone out there is at a loss for words as to what this is. I really need a knife. Send me knives. Send me your knives, viewers, so I can get this stuff open quicker. Ooh. We have some Heinz Easy Squirt Blasting Green Ketchup. Mmm. And it uh, looks like a uh, Shrek sticker offer here. So it's probably supporting uh, the 2000's uh, Shrek film. Um, and right here we have just the uh, the red version, the actual just the tomato ketchup uh, so no color variation here but uh, I guess we can call this easy squirt because there is vitamin C added so that was a, the thing, the kids ketchup easy squirt um, they had all kinds of different colors. I believe they had a purple and a blue. Uh, the green, I think, is probably the most iconic. These aren't just the bottles. These are full. These have not been opened. And maybe someone was a, a, Sh a Shrek uh, fan or something and held on to these as collectibles. Maybe they, maybe they were a fan of nostalgia and held on to them. I believe in the eBay auction... Um, it was like an antique seller, so so maybe they, maybe someone uh, had a collection of Shrek stuff and and got rid of it all, and and this antique dealer stumbled across this stuff and thought maybe someone would think this is valuable and worthwhile. I didn't pay that much at all for either of these. I spent more on shipping, surprisingly enough, than I'd spent on on these. The actual auction I think ended at uh, ten dollars and ninety nine cents, and the shipping was uh, eleven something. So, uh, just over 20 for these two guys, and they were originally released in, in, in 2000, and uh, yeah, just a, I, think, I think overall hailed as a pretty terrible marketing idea by Heinz, and, and for the most part, pretty much flopped, but uh, I'm really stoked to, to I, I don't know what's going to happen in the review, there, anything can happen with uh, me and my friends, especially when we're under the influence. I don't know if we're ac gonna actually try it. I don't know if it's safe to try. Uh, I mean, you can see green and red. I don't wanna get too much into reviewing things here. I don't know if there's an expiration date on these. I do not see some dust on the cap here. A little dust here. I'm just gonna, I assume they're sealed. I'm just gonna double check here. Completely sealed completely sealed. So these are, I don't know, uh, this review is going to, or this uh, mail time is going to come out before the actual review. Is anyone out there uh, an expert in food safety? Is this safe to eat? Is this safe to consume with all the preservatives that are in ketchup? Uh, it looks like there used to be some sort of expiration date right there. But I, I don't know. I can't really quite read it on either of them. So, yeah, this is a biggie. This is uh, this is great. I am really stoked. I am really glad they were so cheap. I thought if something like this ever showed up on eBay, that people would be bidding on it. But I don't know. I guess uh, no one wants this shit except me. So I'm glad to I'm glad to have taken it off that antique dealer's hands, and I, I am looking forward to reviewing this very, very much so, and I hope you are too, so, yeah. I got two things in the mail today. Why not uh, share two awesome items with you? So this one is packaged pretty creatively. As you can see on the side here, Millville Frosted Flakes. So you can't, you can't put your items in a cereal box, eBayers, come on. So assuming that everything is fine, I'm just gonna open it up here. Just gonna open it up. <laughs> yes, another bottle, a Shrekless bottle of Easy Squirt 
green ketchup. I have easy squirt ketchup coming out of my ears. I am now the self-proclaimed easy squirt baller of Iowa. Um, I don't think anyone has anything on my easy squirt ketchup collection now. So, uh, better recognize. Oh. So I had, I had this auction and I thought for sure I was going to lose it. And I don't know if what was what, if it was a full moon or what was going on. Something was in the air. This was on people's mind. This wasn't on people's minds, but people were finding it. This guy apparently just said that it sat in his cupboard or his pantry all these years. How does? I mean, this came out in two thousand. How does a bottle of ketchup sit in your pantry for sixteen years? That's just weird. I mean, and it's it's. If you bought this for your kids, or you, you know, or you bought this as a kid, and you stayed in the same place, same pantry, I think this would be staring you down, you know? Kids, you bought it for a 10 year old. Kids are 26 at this point. You bought it for a five year old. Motherfucker can drink, he's 21. 16 years later, uh, it's here in Iowa with us. Um, after, uh, Mr. Gibbs here uh, decided to put it on eBay, so um, thank you, Mr. Gibbs. Appreciate it. I now have more green ketchup than I ever thought I would ever have. So this is pretty cool. But uh, again, the conundrum of whether or not uh, this is even edible. I have no fucking idea. Um, I look forward to this. I hope you do too. Um, sound off in the comments sound off about uh, things you want us to, uh, to, to look into reviewing next. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Um, you're the reason we keep doing this. I uh, like hearing from you, so thanks.